Good evening, I'm Charles Hamilton. I'm chairman of the board of the Harlem School of the Arts, and I welcome you tonight to our 2014 Fall Gala. Hi, good evening. I'm Janice Savin Williams, vice chair of the Harlem School of the Arts. I want to thank you very much for being here this evening, being so supportive of these wonderfully talented kids. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. This jewel is the Harlem School of the Arts, which has served the community for nearly 50 years. Today, it's celebrating a rebirth, thanks to a major grant from music legend Herb Alpert. I am so blessed, and I just feel compelled to pass it on. I know this sounds a little corny, but I, I get it. I dig it. But, President's Council on the Arts actually has done studies across the country. They've proven that kids that have sustained quality arts programs, any discipline, doesn't matter, are four times more likely to succeed academically. That's like proven stats. Done. Art is a state of mind, it's a state of culture, yeah. and in many communities they have theaters and galleries yeah. where people like to show off their art. On the other hand, when you say Harlem School of the Arts, to me that means that you're really a place to learn rather than to perform. This is true, but also um, it's about learning what art takes. Mm -hmm. So art takes discipline, creativity, rigorous training. So you all focus on dancing, but you, little one, was what we call a triple threat. Tell me everything that you do. Uh, I sing, I play the piano, and I dance. What has it been like for you being next to other performers, your peers that are phenomenal, and having other teachers come in as well? Um, it's fun, and it's very inspiring because I see how good they are, and I want to push myself one day to be as good as them. It's just a wealth of, you know, artistic energy here, and I just thought what I would like to do is have other people think about supporting the arts. And if I can do that with my name, then it would, it's, it would be important for me.